Now, Sri Lanka's President Anula Kumara Desineyaka has chosen his new cabinet after winning a decisive mandate in the parliamentary elections. The president, whose party swept the parliamentary polls last week, has picked a 21-member cabinet. Desineyaka has retained 47-year-old Hariniam Marasurya as Sri Lanka's Prime Minister, who had been appointed as an interim head back in September. The main thing is that we use this power with responsibility to realize the aspirations of the people. Whatever power is given to us is through the constitution, through acts or any other way. When using this power, we should be held responsible to the people. As President Desineyaka has decided to retain the critical defense and financial ministries, Amara Surya will overlook the education, higher education and vocational training ministries. The Marxist leader has appointed Vijetha Hirath as the foreign minister, Ananda Vijapala as the new public security and parliamentary affairs minister, Bimal Ratnayaka as has been handed the transport, highway, sports and civil aviation ministries. Our correspondent Dasunia Thada has been tracking the story very closely. She gets a report from Colombo. President Anur Disanayake's cabinet appears to be a well-balanced cabinet of ministers that includes a number of experts, namely doctors, lawyers, engineers, as well as professors. Now, this is a move that is widely, positively looked upon by the citizens here in Sri Lanka as they feel that this is a first step towards a better future here in the country. On the 21st of November, President Isanayaka, along with his cabinet of ministers and the 225 individuals who represent parliament, will convene for Sri Lanka's inaugural session of the 10th parliament, which will give a glimpse as to how the new government aims to move forward here in Sri Lanka. Stay with Weon for the very latest. Reporting from Colombo, I'm Dasunia Tauda. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.